Let me start with hepatitis A, which is a little bit different from hepatitis B and C in terms of transmission and natural history. So hepatitis A is transmitted primarily by fecal oral contamination and it typically causes acute self-limited infections, whereas hepatitis B and C can go on to lead to chronic infection. So the primary mechanism for hepatitis A is um, through, through exposure to uh, infected persons through household contacts, schools, or daycare settings. Um, but you can also see outbreaks occurring due to contaminated foods or waters where seafood, um, farm products, salads have all been implicated. Um, the infectious dose for hepatitis A is low, so interperson spread is highly efficient, and that's why you can see outbreaks occurring readily. The transmission of hepatitis B requires exposure to infectious bloods uh, through percutaneous exposure or mucous membrane exposure. Uh, so the most common mechanisms that you hear about with hepatitis B are sexual transmission, perinatal acquisition, or the use of contaminated equipment like needles for injection drug use, uh, tattoos, piercings, or uh, in healthcare settings if there are needle stick exposures, for example. In addition, um, hepatitis B can be transmitted uh, among close contacts like household members of a chronically infected person, uh, again through exposure to infectious blood um, that touches non-intact skin or mucous membranes. Um, trans transmission through transfusions um, used to be a major uh, way that hepatitis B and hepatitis C used to be uh, acquired, but that's really been virtually eliminated through screening of uh, blood donors for viral hepatitis prior to, to donation. Now with hepatitis C, it has very similar modes of transmission as hepatitis B. Um, so again, you need exposure to infectious blood and you need to have a non-intact skin uh, exposure. And so um, with hepatitis C, you see that um, the use of contaminated equipment, again, is a, is a major mechanism for transmission, and uh, as well as transfusions using unscreened uh, blood, which unfortunately continues to happen in a large um, part of the world, although we don't see that in the, the U.S. as much. Um, <clears throat> sexual transmission and perinatal acquisition are also possible for hepatitis C, although thought to be less common. Um, however, in, in recent years, what we have been seeing has been a rise in the number of acute hepatitis C infections among uh, men who have sex with men, particularly in the HIV-infected um, individuals. And, and so it's not clear why this is happening, but there's some um, thought that this is in parallel with the rise of other sexually transmitted infections in this group, like syphilis. Uh, 